Howdy, 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 hey, chickadees. Okay, I gotta pull up to look at that little page. What's going on, everyone? Happy hump day. Here we go. Why do I look fuzzy on my phone? Hey there, hey Cindy, hey Sandra. Oh, my little internet thing is working. Hey Teresa, hi Anita. What's going on everyone? Hi Catherine Kelly. What's up, happy Wednesday everyone. Good morning Jenny and Scotty and Debbie and Barb. What's up Kathy and Barbara. Welcome to Totally Dazzled. It's Kathy at Royal Funky Junk here. Hi Diane, hi Vicki, hi Anita. What's going on? Cheryl Carlson is watching. I've got a cute craft today. I've never done anything like this. Just kind of pulled it out of my you know what. So um, we're gonna get started. I've got a tray. Y'all know it when I, you love when I do my trays. Hi Melissa. Thank you Catherine. Hey Beth. What's going on everyone? Hello Sharon. Hello, 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 hello. Hi Sandy. Okay, so I'm gonna make over this tray. Hi Mary, hi Terry. Um, I am going to paint this, fingers crossed, to look like an American flag. Um, we're gonna use some of the totally dazzled, um, you know, this stuff, the Americana stuff. And, uh, and then we're gonna paint it. Did I use bleach on it? My romper room mirror. I need to bring that back, don't I? I don't, it's, it's somewhere in my closet over there. I'll have to make another one. That would be another fun event to do. Hey, Joellen. Uh, yay, Donna, you got a fine alive. Thank you guys for sparkling. Hello, Rebecca. Okay, so, um, no, and if you're at talking about my hair, I did not believe, I get my hair done tomorrow. So, and I'm just gonna have it, have it, uh, dark. Hold it on. I did, Peggy. I got a whole idea. So, um, y'all know I have a big 4th of July party every year. So I'm going to, good morning, Sheila. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to move you guys down because I want to make sure you guys can see. You love when I do trays. I'm so glad. Okay. I think you guys are going to be able to see everything. Let me see here. Um, good morning. Rula, you didn't miss it. Let's see if I can fix it. I want to make sure you guys get like the whole, there we go. I'll just move my, my seat over. What's going on everyone? Good morning to you, Sheila. Hi, Rebecca and Donna. Good day, Kathy Pace. Okay. So I have this old tray. I'm just going to paint it all white first. So that's our first step here in the morning. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week. I didn't bring out white paint. What's the matter with me? I'm just gonna use some premium acrylic paint. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. I think we're gonna make it work. Good morning, Sandra. Hello, Rose. I think it's gonna be just fine. So you guys know the drill here at Totally Dazzle. We are going to um, pick three names. If I call your name, you're going to email hello, hello at totallydazzled.com. Hello guys, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Life is good. I've got no complaints. All right, I'm going to use some white paint. We're going to give this a white base coat. Going to dry it really well. Then I'm probably going to put a sealer on it. Because um, I want to do the, I want to put some stripes down, but I'm going to use some painter's tape to do it. Um, and hi, Kathy. Hey, Marsha. Beautiful day here in Ohio, although my attic gets about 100 degrees. So I'm just going to start off and just give this entire thing a, hey, Robin Goodman, I'm going to give this an entire coat of white paint. And I'm not going to be like too picky about the paint because if it has a little bit of like, what am I trying to say? Like a little bit of rustic, rustic -y kind of look, I'm okay with that. Hey, Dolores. Hi, Chris. Um, 
so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to give it a base coat because if we're going to put, I think the hardest part is going to be getting the red on here because red over white just, you know, it's sometimes it's terrible. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Lori. So I'm, I'm going to do everything. And if I miss a couple of spots, like I said, I'm not really stressed about it. Because I, I don't know if we're going to end up dark waxing this or not. And you know what? I did forget my apron. Hang on a second. I don't know why I have like a mental block when it comes to my apron. <laughs> Working out, watching me. Ah, I worked out yesterday, y'all. Hey, Lynn from Ohio. I'm in Ohio, too. Okay, so we're just going to throw some paint on here. And like I said, I kind of wanted to give it that old, rustic-y vibe. So if it, if it looks a little tattered and imperfect, y'all know me. I'm good with that. Yeah, I think dark wax, you know me, I like dark wax over every, or anything, so if it's going to be a little janky, I'm okay with it. Let's turn it this way. Good morning, Gloria. Hey, you caught, you, caught, caught me live on your lunch break. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I was... Okay, so let's dry this. So it looks a little smeary, which is okay. But, you know, Memorial Day is coming up. We got Fourth of July coming up. Ronnie, you're going to the Sparkle Bank. Yeah, you're going to love it. It's going to be so much fun. I promise. I promise. Michelle, that's a great deal. Hello, Laura from Pennsylvania. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Mickey. All right, so it's going to dry this. See, I kind of like the way it looks now. Some of these weird spots on the tray are like peeping through, but I'm okay with that too. I just want to make sure it's dry before I put on a second coat. Hey, Brenda. Thank you. Happy belated Mother's Day too. I hope you guys all had a fabulous Mother's Day. Mine was great. Good weekend. It's so smoky in Canada. Why is it smoky, Barbara? Hey, Becky Dupree. Dupre. Hey, Cheryl. Our weather has been so crazy here yesterday. Like, my allergies were horrible. Oh, Michelle, I'm looking forward to meeting you too. Yes, I'll be at French Lick for Beth and Randy's event. I, I'm going to go ahead and give this one more coat. And on the second coat, I know some of you have messaged me. You get... You get stuck because your paint slides that's just normal i did not use slick stick or any kind of primer on here i'm just i'm just going in just going in with letting it be what it will be and like i said if some of it some of that silver still shows through i'm okay with that maybe we'll even end up you know crackling this i'm not sure sometimes i don't know what i'm doing i literally like came up with this idea like you know 10 minutes ago when i got up here I have an idea. I get an idea in my head. Um, and then I just kind of run with it. I did have to go to Pinterest to, <laughs> to make sure I knew what, how to paint a flag, like what colors to put where, which I kind of have an idea. I used to do, I did a long time ago, I did palette boards, old palettes painted like an American flag, but it's been a hot minute. I've never painted a tray with the American flag. I was hoping I had some decoupage paper that would fit, but I didn't, so I was like, let me just paint it. I can do this. Something a little different. Okay, so I think that's perfect. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna dry it again. Hello, Susie Q and the Cruisers. <clears throat> I know what you need about painting. I'm always worried about how many stars. Okay, here's the thing, because I know you all are going to, like, yell at me when I'm doing the, the stars. I do have, like, these little star stickers. Um, I'm not going to 
I'm probably not going to put the appropriate amount on. I'm just going to kind of wing it. Uh, I don't think there's going to be enough room to get 50 stars. I'm just, you know, doing my best. Uh, Julie, I signed Jack up for lacrosse camp. Yep. So, um, I'll be traveling to Baltimore. I'll be traveling to... Philadelphia and Fredericktown, Delaware. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi, Suzette. Hi, Maureen. Red stripe. Yes, that's what I had to look for, Meg. Red stripe at the top. Yes, that's what I had to go on Pinterest to look. I didn't want to screw up. Now, I'm going to put painter's tape on here to do my stripes. So I am going to seal this first because I don't want anything to lift up my paint. So I'm just going to go ahead right on it with some triple thick Duraclear mix. And I'm hoping that maybe this helps keep, maybe you will get the red down really well. Oh, Anna, you did. Isn't that exciting when you find a good tray? So I'm actually going to go ahead and just douse this whole tray because if we're going to dark wax this, the dark wax will react differently to anything that hasn't been sealed. It'll be a different color. So let's just get the whole thing sealed. And I'm hoping that by doing this, um, it's going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, it's going to protect my paint. And um, it will protect my paint. And... Uh, when I use the painter's tape. Let's see my allergies, my voice is cracking, it's crazy. Thank you. You guys know my jewelry is all touchstone. My necklaces though, however, are not. Um, you know me, I like my things that sparkle. And I'll show you this tray, I'll hold it up, and you'll see those little dark spots. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about those because I think it just adds character. I try not to sweat the small stuff. Just kind of go with the flow. Um, oh, did she say? Well, you do a good job as you can. Uh, Anna, you know, it just takes practice. Just anything you create is going to be fabulous because you did it. And you can look at it and go, hey, I made that. I mean, think about these are sitting in somebody's store or a Goodwill or people toss them. I don't know why because they're so pretty. They don't make stuff like this anymore, you know? Not like they used to. All right. I know, and I love doing trays. Just call me the tray lady. I am going to dry this, and then I'm going to hold it up for you. And I kept my brush out. I could see a little spot that I missed right there. I'm going to make sure it's all, for the most part, covered. So when we dark wax it, there won't be any nonsense going on. Uh, Teresa, I'm, to seal it, um, I'm using triple thick dark clear mix. It's three parts triple thick to two parts dark clear. Hi, Brenda. So once this all gets dry, then we'll make our flag. God willing, I think I can do it. Julie, I could do resin with this when it's all said and done. Not sure if that's what I'm going to do. I was thinking it'd be a cute like little cupcake tray. So you know, if you if you don't want it, if you want to put food on here, or you know, red, white, and blue Jello shots are a big thing at our party. Is Chris Hunter in the house? What's up, sister? Hey, Trudy. Good morning. Can you seal after using dark mat? Yes, you can, Jackie. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think this is good. I will just let it cool off for a minute because, like I said, I'm going to use, I'm going to be using some going to be using some painter's tape and I don't want anything to get stuck. I don't want it to peel up. Crackle, you can even do that. Kelly, you got a steal for 99 cents. Hey, thank you, Patricia. Oh my gosh, this is, okay. So I just want to cool it off because the trays get super hot when you're using heat on them. Hello, Tammy. Uh, Ronnie L, Ronnie L, if you, uh, there is a group, it's the Sparkle Retreat 2023 crafting group. All the hotel info is in there. Um, message me and I can send you a link. Okay. 
So here's the tray. Do you see what I mean? How these little bits and baubles and spots came through. I'm not worrying about that. I'm just going to go with it. Um, hey, Linda Merrill. Hi, April. Hey, Vicki. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, uh, Debbie, our event is in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oklahoma City in October. You can find all the info um, at sparkleroomevents.com. Get your tickets. It's going to be a good time. I'm so excited. Totally Dazzled is one of our amazing sponsors. Hey, April. Oh, no, yes, he is He is here, Linda. He is paying for his own ticket. We already talked about it this morning. Hi, Alice. Um, oh, don't you love Wakeheart? I know. Okay, so we got this painted. Now I'm going to use, now I know, I think I have to draw this out maybe. I'm winging this, y'all. Um, because a flag has the blue up here. So I think I want to do like maybe to halfway down the tray. Let me think about this. Or here. Let's see. So I'm just going to use a pencil and I'm just going to take like a small, maybe to here. And then maybe down a little bit further. You guys tell me, do you guys think that's a big enough square? Or should I go a little bit lower? Let's see, let me go back to Pinterest and see. Um, let me see how many stripes are up at the top of a flag. So if you have your flag, then it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so they went pretty low. Okay, I, I just kind of got it eyeballed. But here we are. I've got, this is like one inch painter's tape. And I'm hoping a pencil, this pencil's going to work. I kind of feel like it's not, maybe I'll do this one. Yeah, this one's better. So I've got my little box over here. Do you guys think that looks about right? Or should I even go a little bit more over? I think a little bit more over. Now let me see if I can erase this. Okay. And that's all going to be blue anyway, so I don't know why I'm bothering erasing it. Do you guys think that's good enough? Look over here. Or should I go lower? Oh my God. Go back to Totally Dazzled. There we go. Yeah, Sheila, you got to try one. Hi, Mary. Hi, Sandy. You just bought a tray like that one. Hey, there you go. We can all make flag trays. I think, though, that that looks okay. Should I even go a little bit lower? No, I think this is good. I think it's good. It's going to be good enough. Thank you, Gloria. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm peeling off my paint over there, see? I'm going to take some painter's tape, and I'm just going to kind of like go like this, and I'll show you how I can get some stripes. So I'm going to put this up to the top as close as I can, okay? Kind of, kind of try to make it straight, okay? Press that down. Then you're going to take a small little piece, okay? Seven red stripes. And, oh, gosh. Guys, this is not going to be like, okay, perfect. Don't yell at me because I love my country. And I'm not trying to diss the flag or anything. But I'm going to take another one. Do you have this where blue is right on top? Um, I don't know what you mean. And then I'm just going to, this is how I'm going to measure out my stripes. And then you're going to pick this little piece up. And you're gonna lay that down again. And this is just for measuring. Uh, Rita, I don't flip my camera, so that's probably why it looks like the flag is, is going the opposite direction. If I promise you, the stars are on the left. Um, okay. I feel though what I should do is like right now I 
like I feel like the box should end here you know where the stripe is so let me go back this is going to be like a work in progress here folks I was right actually the first time so I want I want I think the stripes to end where the blue is so I'm gonna make this the blue part okay so now I need to take a longer strip do you guys get where I'm going with this or are you lost? All right. So I'm just using this as a little guide. See, I've picked up a little bit of paint there. So hopefully, I'm hoping this doesn't peel off my paint because I still have to put my stripes on here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to make it, you know, even, copacetic. Now, Trying to do the best I can. Now, hopefully, now down here is gonna be tricky, tricky. See, that's gonna be a little difficult because we're not going all the way, but we're gonna do what we can here just to get a nice stripe. Might be a little tedious, but no, it's not gonna work. See, it peeled my paint a little bit but I guess, guys, this is just the way it's going to go. We're just going to roll with it. This is not going to be on here that long. Because now all I'm going to do is use my pencil to create stripes. Shoot, see? It is peeling my paint a little bit. But I guess that'll just be the rustic-y look of it. Not trying to, like, be too, you know, whatever. So I'm just going to use this pencil to make my line. And then gently, shit, crap. See, it's peeling my paint, y'all. This is not what I wanted. So let's just go with it. Oh, well. Okay, well, that's going to be a red stripe anyway, so we'll cover it up. It adds character, exactly. I'm just trying to, if, it have, if I have some peeled parts, then so be it, right? Just gotta be gentle. I thought, oh, I gotta do this bottom one too. See, it's what happens when you get like, now this one's okay. So far, well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Shoot, I really did not want anything to happen like that. Let me see if I can go up. Well, you know where it seems to be sticking is on those little brownish dots, the stuff that was bleeding through. See, there is no perfect thing in, in crafting. Hey, Julie. Hello, Roxanne. More peeling. I don't like it when you peel on me there, Trey. This will definitely be one of a kind, that's for sure. See, some of it stuck, some of it did not. It's weird how it stuck. Some of it, I'm not worried about it. Just let it, let it be your piece, worn and tattered, exactly. All right, let's see how this one does. So all I'm doing is putting my stripes. Look at that. It seemed to be that that upper half, that upper half where all those dings were that got it to be weird. I think we're the green tape. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna start out with red. I could have just painted over the green and left it on there, but um, I don't know, I didn't. This is just, I'm rolling with it. Well, that wasn't too, that wasn't bad either. How come you just didn't leave the paint on? I, I, well, because then if I was peeling paint, then it bleeds under, because I didn't want it to bleed under, and then you'd have to touch it up. So I have a pretty steady hand. I think it'll be better if I just paint the stripes. 
do it like I was going to do it. Yeah, that one peeled a little bit right there, but I'm not even going to worry about that. All right, so here's what we have so far. I'm okay with it. Hi, Marsha. See? So we got our little flag, kind of. Now, tape, not paint. All right, so guys, I'm going to pick my first name. Who's ready? Who's ready to get some sparkle? Is that paint in my hair already? Um, I'm going to scroll up, scroll down, scroll up. Teresa Cherry. Teresa Cherry. Congrats. Make sure you email hello at totallydazzle.com your mailing address. Good morning. It might help, but let's just roll with it because we're going to cover it up anyway. Um, there's some tape left on there. Hold on. Okay. So, now I'm going to take some red paint. Now, I've got regular paint and I've got some metallic red paint. I don't know what's going to give a better coverage, so I'm going to try both. Good morning, Brenda. Congratulations to Teresa. Let's see if the red... Um, sometimes red is funky. Sometimes red over white... Mm, sometimes it's a bear, but we're going to do what we can, right? Let's just see what we got. I think... That's a brighter red. I've got a couple different reds here by a couple different manufacturers. Hey, Donna. You like hearing the bird strip? I know, right? I do too. Let's see which red I like better. We can just play around with it. Oh, I kind of like this red. It's a nice bright red, but it's goopy paint. It's got like a big booger in it. Ew. Looks like a mucusy blob. Blah. Hi, Jan from Iowa. Hi, Chrissy. All right, so let's grab some brushes and see what we can do. I'm going to grab a nice flat-edged brush. All right, let's try. This is the metallic paint, and that don't look too bad. Okay. I'm going to see which one covers the best and which color I like the best, and then we'll go from there. Here's that color. See, that's going to be hard to cover. That's, like, really translucent. And then we'll try this goopy red. Now see, that's going to require a couple of coats too. I'm thinking we're going to use the paint Pixie Metallic and see how that works. Because that seemed to be, out of all three, that seemed to be the most, um, give the best coverage. Where these are transparent would take multiple coats. That's the thing about red. So let's just go in with some paint Pixie Metallic. This is... Crimson Tide and see. Now it won't be like a bright, bright red, but that's okay. Add a tad of brown or black to red for better coverage. And metallic adds sparkle. Plus, I have the, the um, Paint Pixie, um, the Starry Night, the metallic navy. So that might be an option we can throw on there too. See how this looks. I think it's going to look just fine, y'all. will require two coats anyway. I like it. I love, is that Home Sweet Crate? What's up, Jennifer? Yeah, I love Homes. I love, I love Home Sweet Crate too. I do like the Paint Pixie Metallics. They're like really good. And I'm trying to keep my corner over there. I'm just following the curvature of the tray. See? Now we'll take two coats, but now we can go and do our every other stripe. And I'm just going like right over where those, where it peeled up. See, that's why I said don't worry about it because, you know, if we want a little torn and tattered flag, it's going to give it some character. I think I drank too much coffee all this morning. I feel like jittery. Or maybe I need to eat. Oops. So see, if it's not perfect, don't stress. I'm just trying to get as close up there as I can. Okay. 
And then just follow that curve of the tray the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hey, it's starting to look like a flag. Oh, what happened? There we go. There we go. Good morning, Lisa. Hi, Teresa. Hello, Lisa Furtado. All right, I'm digging it, guys. I'm not going to lie, I'm digging it. You know, sometimes when I get an idea in my brain, I think, God, can I make this work? And here we are. I remember there was a time when um, I was too afraid to go live. So I would just work up here by myself. And then I would just post pictures of what I created. And people were like, no way did you do that? I was like, yes, I did. So finally, now it's cool because on a live, you can watch from start to finish. And you get to see for yourself the transformation from start to finish. Oh, Susie, I'm sorry. I like the patriotic. I think it's going to be great. Hi, Fran. Thank you. Hi, Jeannie. I think it's going to be cute. And I think now the paint pixie blue that I have, the Starry Night, that's darker. But I think we could, I think it'll still work. Don't you think? Like a dark navy. I'm sorry I'm not talking. I'm trying to be so careful when I'm painting. Hi, Suzanne. Thank you, Anna. So see, this didn't take too long, right? It kind of worked. It worked how I wanted it to work. And then just think how pretty it's going to be when we get all the bling on here. Starting to look like a flag. Let's see. And I know it's not going to, you know, be a perfect representation. I don't have. Oh, Big Daddy's here. You could add white sand to lighten the blue. Oh, I do have white from paint. Yeah, we'll see. We'll get it on there and see what the colors, because, you know, over the white, it might not be as dark, but the, the starry night is kind of dark. But I think we will have to do. Hi, Joy. Hey, Kimberly, you're not late. You're right on time, sister. We're just painting the tray, giving it a little patriotic theme. Now, these trays are great if you want it to, like, if you want it to be food safe, you can epoxy the bottom of it. I'm thinking more like this is a great tray we could carry around at my 4th of July party with cupcakes or jello shots or something where food isn't going to be touching, you know. The, the painted surface of it. Hey Donna. All right. And then we got this one. I think it looks pretty darn good, y'all. I'll fix that one right there. And then I got that one. Now this is gonna be a little tricky, tricky, because we don't have a whole stripe. So I might have to get a smaller brush. I'm just gonna try to go around 
the shape of that tray and then just try to fill it in. My mom and dad are doing good. They were here for Mother's Day. We had them over for dinner. Michael made everybody dinner, so my parents came over for that. It was fun. So this one down here is a little trickier, but um, I'm working it out. Just got to angle your brush a little differently to get It kind of has movement, which I kind of like that because then it kind of looks like a flag blown in the breeze. It's kind of cool. Hi, Lisa Jane. All right, so down here it's like really tricky. What do y'all think? So far, so good. <laughs> it almost like it has a weird shape like the United States. You know, you could probably envision that. You'd be, hey, wavy flags are okay, Denise. All right, so let's dry this real quick. I do want to put another coat. It, I, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so we're going to put one more coat, and this is the Paint Pixie uh, Metallic Crimson Tide. I tried three different paints. This one worked the best. I know it's not like a true, true primary red like what's on the flags, but I've seen flags in so many different, you know, colors of reds and blues. I think it'll be okay. Not to worry. And see, when I started painting trays, this is why I work on a turntable, because it really helps when you're going along. Now, the second coat will not take as long as the first, because I'm just, you know, filling in a little bit easier. I hear Big Daddy out there yelling at the dog. Crazy dog. Okay, so see how much faster that second coat goes? And I just keep flipping my brush around. Who's excited for the beach bundles from Totally Dazzled? Who's excited to play around with those? Yeah, red always takes more than uh, one, especially if you're putting it over white. Michael's always yelling at the kids to get their car washed all the time. I just heard him tell Carly, get your car washed, it's filthy. I love the beach bling too. It's really, really cute. Now he's back again. Why, what is he doing? I heard him leave. Now he's back. Now he's gone. Crazy guy. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Two coats is perfect. Bye. Are you waving hi, Jennifer, or bye? Or are you saying you're excited to use the beach bling? I know I'm excited to use it. You got the kit, Sharita? Do, do you love it?
I, guys, I use that, I mean, what, what was I doing before the Ultimate Rhinestone Applicator Kit came into existence? I can't even imagine. <laughs> I literally use that all the time. It's like my favorite thing. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Hi, Diana. He's a man enough that I know it. He sure is. What day is the beach bling? You know what? If somebody from TV is on here, I don't really know off the top of my head. I want to say, I know I saw it, but I just don't remember off the top of my head. So I don't want to give out wrong information, but I know exactly what I want to do with it too. Okay. Now, this here is that last little row that's going to be a little tricky, tricky. But I'm going to do my best to just use the same brush. But if I have to get in there with a smaller brush, I can. Because I want that one to be covered too. It's just easier when you can lay your brush totally flat. Good enough, I think. Yeah, Sam is good. He, you know, we got a ticket yesterday. And I told him. It'll be four points on his record. I told him. You can start paying for your own insurance, too. Now see, that's like a little wavy line, but you know, we can't help that. It's kind of just where my brush went. So I'm just gonna deal with it. But take a look, y'all. Um, fix this right there. I think it looks good. So far, what do you think? Yes, Debbie. Do you guys like it? You're studying that with your paint. Ah, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, Lisa, I've done them on wood before. Um, I've never actually done it um, on a tray. This is the first time I've painted a flag on a tray. All right, so I'm done with red. But I'm going to keep my, I think I'm done with red. I'm done with white. We're done with white. Soak my brush into that. Okay, now we got to do blue. So I'm thinking for blue, here is the Starry Night. Now, this is the metallic paint, just like what I used here the Paint Pixie metallic paint. So let's see how, how this goes on. And then I did have this nautical uh, color from. Folk art, let's see which one. It does look like mountains. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You can you can see certain things in the picture. I hate when these things are on here. Use my razor. Let's see if I can. So I don't get this all over my fingernails. I mean, I get why they put this little cap on paint, but I really don't like it. Hi Karen. Hi Maria. And then we have a little bit of the folk art blue. So I'm going to try and see which one is best. Which one I like the best. Let's see. So here is the metallic, the starry night. Let's just do one little. Ooh, I think we're just going to go with that. Why not? It looks flipping fabulous, right? 
probably going to take two coats as well, but yeah, it's going to take two coats, but I like the color. What do you guys think? It's like a dark denim blue, right? <laughs> Thank you, Angie. This looks very premature. Premature, what do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Primitive or premature? I'm not sure. Yeah, I like the blue too. Make it look like it's blue. Yeah, doesn't it? Kind of does look like that. And then I'm just gonna go, um, I'm just going to go right here up to the red. Let's see. Primitive. <laughs> okay, Marge, I was say pre, pre premature. I was like it's probably primitive. All right, and then just hope to God I can stay straight. On that line. There we go. Yeah, it's going to take two coats for sure, the blue too. Um, all right. We're getting there. Hi, Janet. Bit of thicker. Just the inks are made for doing checks. Oh, what do you think? I'm digging it, y'all. I'm digging it. The blue, uh, I used the blue from Paint Pixie. I used Paint Pixie Metallic Paint and Starry Night. And then I can't believe I even had this. I didn't realize they had red. I have to get a big bottle of this. Crimson Tide metallic paint from paint pixie i had a little sample um oh uh, thank you carolyn um flip it yeah i i'm not gonna flip my camera but i'll flip it for you i promise you it's the right way this is the left side of the flag even though it looks wrong to you guys i just don't flip my camera um all right let's dry that blue What do you guys think about now? See, this is why I want to change it up some. Um, what about putting like some gold on each side of the stripes? You know, like a thin, thin gold. And then we got to figure out what we want to do on the outside of the tray. Oh yeah, two coats is perfect. It does look like it has waves in it. That's like kind of like because I just followed the pattern of the tray. Now I could take and paint the outside of the tray all gold. I don't know yet how what I want to do there. I wanted to get this part done first. And then I'm going to put those little stickers, the little star stickers. I was going to stencil it, but I don't have any star stencils. At least I don't think I do. You guys like the idea of gold? What about on the outside? Maybe just leave the outside white. Oh, but you know what? If we dark wax this, it's going to, oh, it's going to be so pretty. Hold on. Okay. See how pretty that is? So I could do like a thin gold all the way, you know, just to break it. I don't know. 
I got not bling. I'm actually going to be using, I have these little sticker stars. I was going to use those. And then I'm going to use some of the totally dazzled um, bling pack in the uh, patriotic pack. And then around the size, I'm going to use some stuff from the um, Ultimate Rhinestone Applicator Kit. So let me dry this. I think I got some blue on the white stripe. No, that's where the paint peeled. That's just rustic. We're going with it. The paint peeled off when I was peeling the painter's tape off. I'm thinking definitely gold handles and then maybe just leaving the rest of the tray white, but let's wax it. So we're going to wax it. Then we are going to uh, do that next before I do anything with gold. I was thinking though gold on the handles. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, or maybe we can do some antique gold rub and buff around the sides. And I'm sure not, not still not sure about the stripes. Don't know. Um, no gold on edge. No gold. You guys like it as is, eh? All right. Well, I am going to wax it up um, because, you know, it's what I do. I like to wax things. Too bad you didn't have 12 TD. I know. I, well, I've got big totally dazzle. I don't have, you know, unless I just do like one big star, I have... I mean, you can do whatever you wanted. I have two big stars. So, I don't know. You're going to seal before wax. I already sealed it. Hi, Lynette. Thank you for sparkling. Hi, Cheryl. I'm going to wax it now, because that's what I do. Um, just to tone down that white. And this is just going to bring out some of that detail too that's in the tray and yes y'all I seal and then I wax I do it all different kinds of way there is no wrong or right way if you ask me like the Lone Star State true is that what Texas has just like one star See, I'm just getting all through here, and then we'll buff it out. That's a little much, Kathleen. It doesn't matter. We're going to buff it out. Oh, yeah, look how pretty that looks. All over the tray, even the blue and the red. Go over the whole thing, and grab your paper towel, and just buff it all out. The wax acts as a sealer, too. I like the wax because it gives it that dirty look. And then just buffing it out. And then you can go over it again with like triple thick Duraclear if you want to shine, which you know me, I like shiny things. So, um, just keep trying to find a clean part of my paper top. And I'm going to show you guys up close. See, this is why I like wax because it tones it down, but then look it, it kind of brings out the design of the tray. Do so you guys see this, where it sticks in those little crevices so you have the pattern of the tray? Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. And that's my bare wax from the Home Depot. It's my favorite wax. I don't need this anymore, this is all trash. Just get rid of that. Okay, before I spill something. Okay, so, what do you guys think about, so I'm asking your opinion. Uh, see how pretty that looks? So, now, we can do one big star, like that. Um, do you think anything needs to be around the outside, like jute, or a gold trim? And then some gold, maybe here, gold handles. Gold on the stripe, says Carol. I mean, we can really, let's see. Let's, I kind of want to do, 
or do we leave it more shabby? Because the only thing that we could do, now here, I could take some antique gold, that's gold leaf. I can take some antique gold rub and buff. Yeah, you can hang this on the wall. Um, let's see what it looks like with some gold. I'm thinking just around this one, um, just like on this, this raised detail all the way around. Oh yeah, see I like the gold, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just using some rub and buff right over that. Okay, and then we'll see. Sometimes I have to start in small phases. That's what I would, what would you prefer, Linda? You're a fan of shabby chic, so. No gold? We'll see. No, I'm not a silver girl, y'all. I can't do silver. I am not. I did silver yesterday on that craft I did yesterday, but I'm usually not, especially when it comes to like anything. I like gold. Now, instead of doing the handles like solid gold, see how that gold just added a little bit of something something on the on the sides? Now, I could take this and just highlight instead of painting all gold, which I like that. I like the way that looks. So pretty. What do you guys think? See how we just highlight it a little bit? But I feel like it might need some gold in the center. So we should we try to do the gold on the stripes? I mean, it's not going to hurt it. If I don't like it, I could just paint it over with the red. Let's just try it on one, okay? Promise. Just try it on one. See what we like. I'm so happy. Now the stars, we can do like, I have gold. We could do one big gold star or lots of little stars. Um, the black mark at the bottom is where the paint peeled. It's just rustic. The paint peeled um, when I was peeling the painter's tape off. So I'm just going for that, you know, primitive look, I guess is what we're doing. Maybe one big link star in the blue with little stars around it. I mean, we could try that too. I like that. Or I was thinking my initial thing was to put like um, a flag on like the handle with like a little God bless America, you know, doing that. So we can play around with it. Dry brush gold on stripes. Dry brush. Yeah, I guess it would be like a dry, but I was gonna use liquid gold. Let's just see. Ew, my liquid gold leaked. Hmm. See if I can get open. I think lots of, oh, our gold paint pen. Do I have a gold paint pen? I used to, I don't use them a whole lot. Um. Here. Let's see, good idea. Let's see if this works. This is a it's not coming out yet. Paint stars with gold paint. I have gold stars. This is the right gold. Oh, it's so subtle, y'all. It actually looks really pretty. 
I never used a paint pen before. I think I like my liquid gold better. Um, I don't know how long it takes that stuff to dry. All right, I think I'm going to do it with liquid gold. I kind of like it. Look at it. It's really super subtle. See? Or should I just use the paint pen? What is this? Is this oil-based? Krylon paint pen. Well, I was thinking, actually, it's not bad. Um, it's subtle. That's why I'm kind of digging this paint pen. It's not like overbearing. I think you guys are gonna like the gold. All right, let's pick our second name though, y'all, while I'm, I'm here painting away. Yeah, the gold looks really pretty. Um, hey, Texas Breeze. All right, guys, we're gonna go on to our second name. I'm gonna scroll through comments here, and you're, if I call your name, you're gonna email hello at totallydazzled.com. They'll send you some sparkle mail. They need your mailing address. And it's stopping on Sheila Thompson. Sheila Thompson, congrats, sister. Um, Sheila Thompson. It does look pretty. Okay, I like the touch of gold too, and I'm using like the skinny part of the marker. I don't, I just never used this marker before, so I have no idea like, How long it takes to dry what's it gonna dry like can I put my triple thick dirt clear mix over it but it's so subtle that that's what I like Yeah, I like it. Look at how pretty this looks, just on those top stripes. See, it's so subtle, it's you don't even hardly see it. We probably could go, um, I'm just kind of like re-blotting it about half a quarter of the way down to keep it nice and bright. And dries, yes, you can do all of that, and dries, and if you, oh, awesome, even better. I have to get some more of these. These are actually kind of cool. And it's got the same kind of look as liquid gold, but it's a little easier to use being that it's a, a pen. All right, almost done. Oop. That kind of cleans up those paint lines. Oh, I do have a black paint pen too. I have a contour liner, but I didn't want to put black on here. Black is so harsh. Okay. Now, do you think we need to do it around the blue too? I'm assuming so, right? Probably to make it all match and then I am gonna do I guess I'll do it down this side too what do you guys think about the outside of it I'm thinking
Oh yes, I'm going all the way around. Hi, Lisa. I would do it around the blue or bling. I don't know, see, we're thinking the same, Lisa. I'm just letting the tray do the work and it's just cleaning up those edges. And that's really just giving it a nice finished off vibe. The gold defined, yeah, see, I, I love, that's why I'm like not a silver girl. I just love gold. I love silver jewelry, but I love, I love everything. I love gold too. I'm a mixed metals kind of girl. Yeah, it just kind of cleans everything up. Okay. I am gonna... Let's dry it for a second. Dry. Let's look at that. Okay. See? So we did all that gold. I kind of like it just like that. Now we have to star it. So um now I have these little stickers, but then or do we just use now I want to put, you know, we can we can judge it up however we want. I kind of like that there. Kind of put some bling on the sides. And then we could fill in bling. Like all around the tray, we could do like the, from the Totally Dazzled app, Rhinestone Applicator Kit. Uh, little stars. I think we're going to use the little gold stars. Guys, I don't know. I'm going to have to go on Pinterest again. I don't know where stars go on a flag. I Okay, I'm not going to get 50. I don't even have 50 stars. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty-three. I do, but they're all different sizes. Or right. let me look here at this. So it's I need a flag. A good picture. Now see this is a cute tray. It just got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stars. Sticker stars and painted over them. I mean I just got to wing it, right? And most of these trades that I'm looking at on Pinterest that people like bought, like you, the ones you get like at, you know, Walmart and stuff, they don't have like the exact amount of flags. So I guess like I shouldn't stress too hard about it. Uh, random. I think I'm just going to do random. If I could find a picture. Um, So they're saying six. So I could just do six on the top. Let's just wing it. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's just do it. And do do random stars. Essential stencil has. I know. Um, you could do thirteen for the original thirteen colonies. Yeah, because you know what? I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I have enough room to do all all of them. Thirteen stars. I'm gonna see. You guys know what we could do is maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What about a circle of stars? Hey, Diana. What about like, I got it. What if we do like, where's the big star go? Here. What if we do like the big star? Okay, and then do the big star. See, I kind of like that. And then do like the little stars all the way around it. Like Betsy Ross flag. Oh, that's what I need to Pinterest. Betsy Ross. I love you guys. <laughs> I think I would have had this planned out. I don't know what I'm doing. Betsy Ross flag. So there's just 13 stars in a circle, but then I could put this one in the middle. Love Blink Center and sticker around it. Yes! Let's t 
to it. So it'll have 14 because we got a big sticker, but um, y'all, one, two, three, four. I, I got enough big stars here. Hang on. I'll just need to. Okay. So we'll use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, God is good. Okay. <laughs> Do you, I can really, I like the, hey, Rhonda. The gold adds the right touch. I love the gold star, so I'm going to go with that. And then let's do this. Now, I'm only going to gently lay these on here. Um, or, we don't have to use a star. We could put like, um, we could put like this totally dazzle thing in the center. I like big TD star in the middle and the rhinestone. Or we could do like USA. Let's just try to get, wait a minute. Now, before I start screwing stuff up, let me get something that's a circle that's kind of big so I'm just not going in randomly. You know what I mean? So we can build, I can trace the pencil. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that looks good. So I'll just use that as a template, or I could have done this. And then we could put something in the middle. Let me see. I'm removing my stuff. Back, I hate blank banks. Oh. <laughs> removing my pencil mark with some wax. All right, I think I like the size of this better. So I'm just gonna center that right there. And then that will be my template. Yeah, I'm using this. I'm gonna go bigger. And then that will be my template to lay down our stars. Perfect, okay. So now we take our little stars. Now I am going to use just a dab of B7000 glue. And then we'll see. We'll get the little stars on. You know what? I don't want to glue it yet. I have to go back and look at that flag. So I guess we're just winging it. So then I guess I would just put one there. How do you make 13? Because that's not even. So I'm going to do one down at the bottom. I'm going to try to do this evenly. Two. This makes me nervous, y'all. Um, we'll do over here. Three. Four. I'm kind of like working in a clock. Four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put two over here and just see if we can make it work. How am I doing, folks? Are you guys all laughing at me? Okay, we're good. You like the big star in the center? Um, use the, all right, just do 12 and 13 makes the big star in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, let's see. I gotta go back to my other sheet. Now I will go and glue all these bad boys on with a little bit of B7000. They do have sticky backs. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and then you're saying the big star in the middle? Makes it, I like the big star in the middle too. What do you guys think? Yes, yes, no, maybe so. I like it. I can try the USA in the middle, but I'm gonna say, if I know me, I like the star in the middle. I like that the star equals the 13 star, you know? Um, do you guys like it? I'm glad you do. 
Okay, so thank you, Penny. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to get these little goobers. You know what? I'm probably going to need my blade because they do have sticky backs, but not... I want them to be permanently on there. So I'm just going to go in with a dab of B7000. And then just stick it down there. And then that way it's on. Hey, Dana. Yeah, I like it too. All right. I'm going to pick this up. You guys are hanging with me. I love all the new stuff that Totally Dazzled is coming out with because you can do cool stuff like this. And I'm just trying to be careful. I don't want to. Just a little dab of that B7000 glue and that, that will be on there forever. I don't know if the picker pen would work on these because they're not like, they're not like your typical rhinestone. And there's this, they're sticky on the back. So I'm having to pull them up. They have like, they already have like their own, I don't know if that would work. Luckily, they're big enough where I can get my finger on around them. They have totally upped their game. Well, they, I can't even say that because that sounds rude. They have, they're just adding, they're just, they're just getting better and better. They were always fabulous to begin with. Now they're just like getting better and better. Um... I'm just moving right along. And these stars, I think, they're the biggest ones in that pack, but I think this looks really cute. Yeah, I think it looks good. This is like the fun part. I gotta do that. I did that one already. Okay. This one. And I'm talking just a little dab of that B7000. And that will take over. Um, that will hold. And this, these little doodads will never come off. Did I do that one? Not. So I got two more. And these there are pretty good strong stickers, but I don't want to risk it. I want to make sure that they're on there forever. Last one, and then we'll put our our big totally dazzled star. I have paint on my face, I sure do. Oh, I think that's actually wax. I don't know. Okay. Okay. That was brilliant. And now we're going to put our gold. This is the, the patriotic pack from Totally Dazzled. And uh, B7000, um, it just, I don't know, It's it sets up faster. Now, I am going to use a dab. This is going to be a hard one to get. I'm going to use a dab. I'm going to wait for that till the end. I'm going to use a dab of hot glue and I'm just going to do these little points and then I'm going to throw a little bit of hot glue right there for like immediate bonding. Ouch. And then I'm going to try to center that right in the center. So that B7000 will take over, but we can hold it up. I think it looks fabulous. Now, I do want to put that other one. That, see, I like the idea of using 
a little USA. Maybe a small star. Or I'm thinking like some bling. Now I kind of like want some bling over here. So I kind of like it right there on like the handle. Let me show you. This, this something is up with the sure bonder glue. It's terrible. It's quickly becoming my least favorite glue. Yes, baby. Jeez, it's just so many glue bookers. Okay. Is that going to be on there? What do you guys think? And I'm even thinking about taking some like red and blue gems and putting them over here on the tray here. I'll show you what I mean. Gonna, yeah, I got me my glue. I'm glad you guys love it. <gasps> Look at how pretty. Look what I made. Looks good. Ah, see all that? And then I added the USA over here. I had to have that over there. Um, all right, I want to do one more thing. I want to grab. What's up, babe? Okay. Um, where are you going to go with that? Same place I do everyone's in. Oh, you're going to put it in? Um, please, I don't want any, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, 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 me. Alright, now I'm going yeah, to yeah, yeah. Alright, love you all. Bye. I love you too, baby. Drive careful. Not kidding. Pain in the hole. Okay, so now I've got. I got some bling in your ultimate rhinestone applicator kit. You get all kinds of colored gems, okay? So what if we take just a little bit and just to zhuzh it up even more, like, you know how I like to always look for like little detailed parts of, um, like on the trays and stuff. So I'm thinking some like a red gem right there and add the gem. This is why I, I am obsessed with that ultimate rhinestone applicator kit because I just add bling to everything. So just, just three little pieces here. I did two reds. I'll show you in a second. You guys might be able to see. And then I just picked up some red. And then some blue in the center. Did I do that right? Oh, it went up more. I gotta go up more with that one. Right there, a little off center. So it's sparkly, and you can do this all wherever you want, but that's all I did. So see how I just added even more bling just right there on the handle? Some red, white, and blue bling. And then you have that. And then you can add bling wherever you wanted to. Um, it's going to be, it's too late for epoxy. I, it epoxy, it'll, it'll mess up that. I'm thinking this is a great little piece for, can you have yourself a jello shot? <laughs> or, you know, whatever you need. Some cupcakes can go on there. Um, but I think it came out stinking amazing. I'm super happy with it. I was... I even like the little parts that scuffed up. To me, that just adds more character. Um, now, I probably will go and I'll have to be careful around here, but I'll put a coat of triple thick Dur Clear on it just to seal all those little spots up. But um, anyhow, um, I do have one more name to draw. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft day. And I hope I inspired you. Yes, the Jello Shot piece is running. You cracked me up. Um, and I'll hold it up, but I'm going to pick my third and final name right here for my segment here on Totally Dazzled. Um, I'm just scrolling back and forth through comments, and then it's like a wheel when it stops on my fingernail. Cat Stone. Cat Stone, you are my third and final name. Make sure you email hello at totallydazzled.com. Your mailing address, and they'll send you some sparkle mail. Here you Oh, guys, I promised that I would flip my camera. So, um... 
let me do that for you. Hold on. Um, I promise so you guys can see it. Okay. So weird to me to be on a flip screen. You can tell how I don't know what I'm doing. But there it is. You guys should be able to see it right side up now. That's the correct way. And that's so pretty. We did it. I hope you guys enjoyed. There you go. There it is. So anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that. I gotta flip myself back now because I can't take it. Um, so weird to me. Um, uh, thank you. You're welcome, Cat Stone. All right, guys, I will see you guys. Uh, I don't know. Um, I got some running around to do today. I'm meeting Gianna for lunch. Um, uh, tomorrow is Thursday. I know I'm live tomorrow, but I just don't remember with what. Oh, no, that's Friday. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, it almost does look like the, doesn't it, Maria, with like this shape? It's kind of funny. That's what I see it. Um, the high grace. Thank you. Thank you guys. I hope I, get, I inspired you guys to go out there and be creative. Have a fabulous sparkle filled day. Thank you totally Basil for having me be here and I will make sure to post a picture um, of it's all complete um, later on today. Thanks guys. See you later everyone. Ciao.